What is up guys? Mega Matt here with another pickups video for the month of July. This is take number two. I did this video, recorded it earlier, and I left out a whole stack of games. So this is take two. Um, I'm sorry if I get a little rusty or whatever, but uh, we'll jump right into it. This by far is probably the best month I have ever had as far as games go and scores. So it's going to be a long video just to forewarn you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So first thing we'll jump into is garage sale stuff. So I did score some garage sales, did did get some decent stuff. Um, a lot of stuff I did get, however, I've already traded in. Uh, I took most of the garage sale stuff I had, I traded it in, and I got over $200 in store credit. So a lot of stuff. Um, there was nothing really crazy, you know, rare, collectible. Um, what I did, if I something was like that, I probably kept it. So I will show you what exactly I kept. Otherwise, the rest of it. It was probably around, I traded probably around 70 to 100 games. Um, like I said, nothing crazy. All mediocre titles and that. Um, a lot of DS stuff and a lot of like PS1 stuff. So nothing too crazy. So, um... First thing I got, just to get it out of the way, because it's big, um, I got this with a bunch of N64 games. The 64 games were a dollar piece, you know, nothing crazy. I think the best one in there was uh, 007 GoldenEye, um, but I already have a complete copy of that, so I just traded it. Um, I did get another one of these N64 cases. Um, I already have one of these. These are kind of hard to come by, and they're kind of expensive, actually. Um, I already have one of these, so now I have two, and this was only five bucks. So five bucks can't beat that, right? Okay. Uh, next up, I got a DS bundle. Like I said, um, I think I got around 35, 40 DS games. Um, and then a couple of, like, random Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games. I got all of it for I think 60 bucks so not a like garage sale steal or anything but the two things I did keep I only kept two things out of the whole deal but we have a copy of Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo which this game alone goes for um, around 50 bucks or something like that so and I don't have it yet, so I kept it. And then I found this, which I was really stoked. It's Star Fox 64 3D. However, it had the wrong game in it, so it has no game. Kind of bummed about that. But I know I'll find a loose copy of it in the future. And then I'll have a complete copy of it. So, uh, Next up, uh, there's a guy on Facebook. He actually lives in Aurora and his girlfriend lives here in Rockford. Um, he did a huge video game garage sale. Um, he like buys, he bought like a storage unit and I think he like he, he went to a, a game store in his area that was closing and he just bought a bunch of stuff so he was just trying to get some extra money for his games and that but his prices were not you know dirt cheap and not like really expensive but they were you know reasonable um they're reasonable enough to keep you know all the resellers away because that's his biggest thing uh that's a lot of people's thing Dan, my biggest thing i just can't stand it when you know uh somebody lists video games and you get there five minutes before the sale and before the sale even uh opens and the person tells you, Oh, some guy was here, you know, fifteen minutes ago and he snagged up all the games. You know, that just drives me nuts. But that's how it works, I guess, if you're in that kind of business where you're just re a reseller, you have to get as much as you can because that's your job apparently. But it still pisses me off. I just whatever. But anyway, um, I did get three games from him. Uh, these first two, you know, they're not collectible or anything. However, I think they will be collectible. But that is the uh, Dukes of Hazard racing game. Uh, I think they're both racing games. Yeah, for the PS1. 
The reason I picked these up is the whole thing that's going on with the Confederate flag, you know, being banned in the South and everything. I just have this feeling these games are going to jump up in value. Um, they pr they might not. They you know they've seen them. They've gone up a little bit, but I just I don't know for some reason, you know, some stuff like that happens. It seems like every type of merchandise or anything that was out put out just goes up in value like that. So but then I got this DS game. Um, this game actually I was told is probably the better version. Um, I think there's th two of the two other games of this on the DS. But I was told this one is the best one, and that is Castlevania Order of the Ecclesia, or Excel, I don't know how to pronounce that really, but I probably butchered it, but oh well. But this was, I think, I think the Dukes of Hazard games were like five bucks a piece, and this was like ten dollars, so not, you know, horrible. Um, next up, uh, buddy Greg, as you guys know, Greg from Arcade Impossible, um, He's been releasing more videos lately, which is freaking awesome. I've been in a couple, so that's pretty cool. Um, he recently had a garage sale about a couple weeks ago, and he's actually he was uh, liquidating like his whole game library. Um, he basically bought the what's called it's basically called like an EverDrive, and it's basically like a a, a card like a, a SD card, and it has like every game in a library like for instance he bought N64 one and you just put this card fits in like a cartridge and you put it in the system and it has every single N64 game ever released like uh, American version I think there might be some Japanese games on there but I'm not 100% sure but he did that with his N64 he did it with Turbo Graphics uh, he just told me he did like Super Nintendo and that. He he just wants to eventually get like all this, so he doesn't have all these games, which I can understand. You know, I I like to collect because it's just you know my style, my thing. Um, but he just you know he just likes to have. He kept uh, some games like he remembers from his childhood that you know mean something to him. But everything else he either he got rid of. So I got some stuff from him actually actually I traded him uh, a couple videos ago I found a plug and play for the ColecoVision um, I he actually wanted that so I we just did a trade straight up trade so these are some of the games that these are the games I got for that so it's pretty good I think I we got just pretty good trade you know a bro trade you know what bro trades are you know they don't whatever but a lot of shooters, actually. I'm gonna put that out there. I got a lot of shooters this month, so. But first game I got for the Super Nintendo is Raid and Trad for Super Nintendo. This is a really fun shooter. Um, two of these games, the games I got, he has these custom cases he made. Um, I'm not probably not gonna keep them in here, but it's kind of cool. We got Darius Gaiden. I've been looking for this game for a while, actually, and. Now that I have it and I've played it, it's freaking hard as hell. <laughs> so it's like maybe I should have not picked it up. Uh, but then for the N64, I got Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I've been looking for this too. Um, this is like a platformer, uh, fun platformer for the N64. Kind of like um, I don't know what to really compare it to. Um, like Sonic Mario Clash, I don't know if that's even right, but it's a lot of fun if you haven't checked it out. It's a nice little platformer for the N64. So I got those three games from Greg for the ColecoVision plug-and-play, which is pretty good trade, in my opinion. Alright, so that, I believe, was it for garage sale stuff. Um... So moving along, let's see, like I said, got some stacking games. I'll just go with this. Um, this was a Craigslist deal. I found this, and this was in Rockton, which is kind of right by where Jason lives. So I was gonna, I was on my way up to visit him, and I just, I picked this up. This was still available. I got this for like ten bucks. Um, got a Game Boy case, not just the case, obviously. 
We have a teal Game Boy Color. Um, the focus there. Uh, real good shape. It's got the back, got the stickers on it, light minimal scratches. Um, we've got a couple games here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Tony Hawk 2 for the Game Boy Color and Blade for the Game Boy Color. And then what made this deal the best, you know, what cut this deal is a copy of Pokemon Gold. So that was a pretty good deal, you know, like I said, 10 bucks. Um, I just kind of wanted to get it before the resellers because, you know, resellers would be all over that. So. Okay, um, moving on, let's see. Uh, I did a trade with a local collector that I know that I met through the um, State Line Gamers group. Uh, cool guy. Um, I picked up a Game Boy game from another garage sale. Um, it's called Cool World, and it's for the Game Boy. Actually, I think it came out for the Super Nintendo as well. Um, the Game Boy version is actually worth some money, actually. I didn't realize that when I picked it up. I paid like like five bucks for it, I think, or two dollars. I'm not 100% sure. But this guy, collector, he's been looking for handheld stuff lately, and he saw I had this, and he had a trade list. So I saw this game, and I wanted to give it a shot. And it's another shoot 'em up go figure. Uh, and that's Blaze on Blaze. It's either Blazon or Blazoon. I'm not 100% sure how to say that. Um, it's a Super Nintendo game, an Atlas title. Um, as you guys know, Atlas is becoming like a thing for some collectors. Um, some guys I know, like <clears throat> Grimsy42, if you guys don't know who that is, uh, he's just like. He straights up just gets collections just to collect. He doesn't really play all his games. It's just kind of weird, but you know he's a nice guy and everything. I, I traded uh, I traded him an Atlas game. He's going for like every Atlas game that's out there. Um, I don't think he's anywhere near completing that, but you know he's he's different. But he's a cool guy. But anyway, like I said, there's people other people that just love Atlas games just for some reason. So. Um, Here's another. Actually, I'll do these first. Uh, let's see. This is a game I bought brand new. I found it real cheap. Uh, I'm not sure where I got this at. It's Target, maybe? I think I got this at Target. It was like 10 bucks. Uh, I decided to give it a shot because it's like some of the classics are on here. Um, but for the 3DS, we got Pac Man and Galaga Dimensions. Glare. And it's got like. It's got two versions of Pac-Man on here, like the Classic and the Championship, and then it's got two versions of Galaga. Galaga and Galaga Legends. Galaga Legends, I think. So, but yeah, that's a fun, you know, little classic game. Classic games to play on your 3DS if you're, like, on a road trip or you're just on the go. So, I decided to pick that up. Um... These two games I found at a pawn shop. Um, they were like five dollars each or four dollars each, just real cheap. Um, two DS titles. One I cannot pronounce again. I apologize, but this one is like a. I think it's based off an of anime. It's like an anime RPG, and that is Adelir Annie. Alchemist of Sarah Island. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea what the heck that's all about but you know it was like four dollars and I think this game is like a thirty forty dollar game so hey and then the other one I got which is another Atlas title go figure is Knights in the Nightmare yeah Knights in the Nightmare and as you can see it's Atlas title um, another RPG type game uh, both complete and everything so that was a nice nice little find Okay, um, yeah, let's just do this, because I've done this, this is the second time going through this stuff, so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything. Um, I got these two games at, uh, my favorite store, obviously, um, this game was actually featured in an episode that Greg and 
Chris from NES Complex did like a little collab video. Um, I was the cameraman. We went to like Chicago and then we went to like Milwaukee the next day. Um, but Chris was eyeing this game and he did end up picking it up. And then I saw it and I, you know, I actually think this is actually a decent game. Uh, I played it and it's actually much easier than the NES series. But still pretty hard, but you know, it's not as crazy as the NES series. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about, but that is Ninja Gaiden Shadow. Um, as you can see, some of the label is kind of came off. It had a sticker on it. Um, uh, if you don't, I take stickers off if they don't take the la if they take the label off. I use a hair dryer, and sometimes that loosens the glue up, and you can just peel the sticker off slowly, and it'll, the label will still be intact. So, not too crazy. And then this game was like I think six or seven dollars, which is weird because uh, the game store I always go to. They tend to price um, these games. This is a Pokemon game. They tend to price Pokemon games like market price, basically. They're a little cheaper, but I thought this was kind of weird for how cheap this game was. But it works and everything. But this was like 7 bucks. It goes for 20 25 bucks, I think. But this is a copy, nice clean copy of Pokemon Red. But like I said, I'll probably trade this off in the future because I don't really play Pokemon so all right uh, next thing I got another Craigslist deal from these two guys in Janesville um, they did meet me in Beloit to get this deal um, this was a it was a 3DS and two DS lights um, a red DS light and a blue DS light uh, the red one worked just fine I know the blue one worked fine, was, you know, mint and everything. Uh, and there were two Pokemon games with that as well. Um, but the red one, it looked like it had been dropped. Uh, the hinges weren't staying open, but if you opened it all the way up uh, the screen, you could see the screen and everything, and it would play just fine. Um, but I got those two, two Pokemon games. I think it's like Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon, like, Y for the 3DS. But I sold the two DS lights and those two Pokemon games to somebody else. Um, I got like 50 bucks for it. But I, only, I paid 75 for this lot. And the reason I got this is because of the, this what I have here. Um, this is a 3DS I've been looking for. Um, even though I already have a 3DS, I have uh, Yoshi 3DS, but my wife plays a lot. So I just figured I'd get one for myself. Um, oh, and this has, I think, like five games preloaded on it. It's got the new Zelda Majora's Mask on it. It's got Ocarina of Time on it. It's got a few others. I'm not 100% sure. But the reason I got this is because this is the Gold 3DS XL Link Between Worlds Zelda Edition. As you can see, the Triforce there. Uh, really clean. Really clean screen and everything works. You know. 75 bucks this thing goes for you know 150 alone so that was just a good deal right there then and there so decided to get that so cool to add that to the collection okay now some of the stuff I forgot from the last video so as last month some of you guys saw I started collecting some Nintendo Power magazines um I'm only trying to get, like, the ones that have Mega Man on the cover, because, you know, I love Mega Man, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> so, um, so I did find a guy, he had three of the ones I was missing, and I think I have all the Mega Man issues now. However, there are some condition issues with some of these, um, so I'll just go ahead and show them real quick. I'm not going to, like, flip through them or anything, but we got Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge. There's a glare there. Nintendo Power. Uh, where am I going to put these? We've got Mega Man 3. Which has got Mega Man with Rush. Mega Man 3. As some of you guys know, it's my favorite Mega Man game. Um, out of the like NES series. And then this is the one with the condition issue. It's Mega Man 2 Dr. Wily launches Lunatic Plot. And it's kind of like 
um, wrinkled and everything, but there's this giant Turt Ninja Turtle sticker on there. It's kind of bummed by that. I tried getting it off with the hair dryer and it started peeling the actual art off, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave that on there, which is kind of a bummer, but hey, at least I have the magazine, right? So I'll probably try and replace that one in the future. But then this guy also included two bonus magazines, which I thought was pretty awesome of him. Because he's, you know, noticed I like Mega Man. But this one is a Super Gaming Video Game Preview magazine of the first look at Mega Man Adventures. And it's got, basically, it's like Mega Man 4. That's the cover um, for Mega Man 4 on the NES. So I got that, and then he included a SWAT Pro magazine, which I've never seen. Um, he said that this was like, I think he said this was popular up in Canada or something like that. But this is the video game tips, tactics, and strategies, and it's got Mega Man X on the cover. So that was a cool little bonus he threw in for me. So that was real nice of him. So, all right. Um... Let's get back to the games real quick. Okay, so me and Jason... Let me see what I got here. Me and Jason went up to Madison, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, he wanted to go up there because the, the one store we always go to, we know the owner. Uh, it's called Video Game Exchange. Um, uh, if you guys are ever in Madison, go check that store out. It's a really cool store. The owner is really cool to talk to. Um, he's a down-to-earth guy, and we've always gotten along. And he's he's got he's got some deals on some games too. So, but he had some collector guy come in, and he just traded off his entire collection to the owner. And this guy. This collector guy is like so picky about his games. Like he'll pick up a game and if it has a scratch on the cover, he will not buy it. So, and a lot of the games he had that he brought in were not only pristine, he kept like copies of games that were still sealed. So for instance, the reason Jason wanted to go up there, he brought a lot of Dreamcast games and he had a lot of Sega Saturn games. A lot of sealed Sega Dreamcast games and pretty much a lot of sealed Sega Saturn games which is bizarre you never see that um, but I saw some games and a couple pictures he posted that I was eyeing so this was one of them I, so I really wanted I've been eyeing this another shooter go figure another shooter um, but this is um, oh excuse me Raiden I'm not good with Roman numerals. I think this is Raiden 4. It's either Raiden 4 or Raiden 6. <sighs> I feel kind of stupid not knowing that, but I'm not real good with Roman numerals for some strange reason. But this is this was only released on the Xbox. Um, otherwise, it was just like a, in the arcade. You can only play this in the arcade. Um, but really, really fun shooter. Um, hard as hell, like all the other ones, obviously. But I think this is uh, I think this is two player. Yeah, this is two player as well, which I'm. A lot of the rating games I don't think are two player. I think they're only one player. But this like was like I said, this was like brand new. I, I actually had to take the like little seal that was across here. I had to tear that off. Um, discs are in perfect shape, and then this this comes with two discs. It comes with the game, right there, and then there's a soundtrack to the game, which we listened to on the way back. Pretty cool. Uh, and then this game, this is a GameCube game I've been eyeing for a while. Um, I don't really, every time I see it, I don't pick it up because it's expensive. Um, but however, I brought a game up there to trade. If you guys remember from my last month video, I had a Genesis game. I think it was called Time Stalkers or Time, what was the name of it? I can never remember the name of this game. Time Killers. There, just remembered it. Time Killers. So I brought Time Killers up there because that game is just freaking horrible. If you guys ever see Time Killers for the Sega Genesis, do not pick it up unless it is cheap or, you know, you are a big fan because it is nothing like the arcade version, even though it says arcade version on it. 
So I brought that up there. I got some store credit for that, and I got this game for it. And like I said, I've been looking for this for a while, and that is Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. And again, this disc is looks like it has only been played maybe once, maybe never been played at all. Like I said, this collector that brought all these games is were super picky. And Jason got some Dreamcast games and a couple Saturn games that looked like they just like never been played at all. So it's just super crazy that this guy just decided to trade his entire collection in to this game store. So that was freaking awesome. So that was pretty cool. Um, that was down there. And then uh, another, ch we go to that store and we go to, there's two locations of, this other store, it's um used to be Mega Media Exchange, but I can't remember what it, it's called. Preplayed now, that's right. It's called Preplayed, I think. So the preplays we go to, um, the prices are kind of high. Um, I don't normally buy stuff from there, but they do tend to slip on some games there, which is kind of odd because a lot of the stuff, like all the like cartridge-based games they have, they're like dead on the price, like. Um, for instance, if you are looking for, they have a lot of rare, uh, uncommon games you don't normally find, like in my area. Um, but, for instance, I'm trying to think, like, uh, Contra 3 for the Super Nintendo, that's like, you know, $30 game, they have like 50 bucks on it. So it's like, you know, if it's going to be one of those things where if you really want that game and you can't find it anywhere else, then probably... you you could buy it there but it's just the prices are just out of league here but this game was only like five bucks five or six bucks and that's just crazy because this is kind of an underrated game as well and I think the reason is because this is a racing game and when people look at sports games they just think oh you know they're not worth anything you know a couple two three dollars at the most but this one it's actually a Sega game it actually was an arcade, I think, well, the original is. But this is Outrun 2006, but it's the Coast to Coast version. Um, this game, I think, goes for around 40 bucks, which is kind of crazy for a racing game. Um, but, yeah, they had, like, 6 bucks on it, and it had the manual and everything, so it's like, you know, I'm going to pick it up, of course. And I haven't really played it yet, but... I'm gonna give it a shot if I, you know, if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Even if I don't like it, I think I'm still gonna keep it just because I like Outrun. Outrun's a good racing game. That's one of Sega's good games. So cool to get that. All right, now let's alter to another thing I forgot. Okay, so buddy of mine who I've known for a couple of years, who I also met through uh, Stateline Gamers. Uh, his name's Adam. Uh, he's a really cool guy, really down-to-earth guy. Um, we He likes Mega Man just like me, but he knows I love Mega Man. You know, he loves Mega Man too, but he knows I'm like a diehard Mega Man fan. So, I told him we were going to Madison uh, a while ago, and I said, you know, are there any games you're looking for? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, I'll send you a list, and then if you find some, you know, maybe we can either... I'll pay you cash, or we can work out a trade. Um, so I found I found two or three of his games on his list. Actually, I think it was only two games. I'm not sure. They weren't real expensive games, so it's nothing nothing crazy. Or a couple PS2 games. Um, but he had this that I forgot about, and the reason he's getting rid of this because he uh, bought one on eBay, and they sent him two. So you know. He got one, basically buy one get one free, and he figured you know I want it, so absolutely. This is a lenticular. If you guys don't know what lenticular is, it's basically kind of like a flashy 3D image, so to speak. Um, this is a lenticular poster of Mega Man One, and all the characters are like, um, kind of like cartoony. It's kind of based off of um. Mega Man just came out, Mega Man Versus, it's like a card playing system. This is what this reminds me of, all the characters look just like that. But if you can see it, I don't know if you can capture it, Mega Man's kind of sticking out 
Well, you can see it changes there as I turn it. But he's kind of sticking out, and the the robot masters are in the back, and then it's just it's really cool looking, and it's like it's like a high quality material too. It's not cardboard or plastic or not plastic cardboard or paper or anything. It's like you know sturdy material. Um, but that was cool, you know. I we just did a trade on this, and I owe him another game, but he said I could have it for right now. So I can get it all framed and hanged up. So that was cool. Thank you, Adam, if you're watching. That was an awesome, awesome trade. Um, and then this, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> this, I found this out uh, probably last week. Uh, I noticed um, Hot Topic. If you guys don't know, Hot Topic is a local chain store. It's across, basically you'll find one in a mall somewhere. They have like, uh, it's more kind of like to start with gothic clothes and stuff like that. But they've been carrying like uh, stuff for bands. They have like vinyl pop dolls. And they've been carrying a lot of like retro game stuff, um, which is crazy. I would never think this store would ever carry stuff like that. Um, they have like retro t-shirts. I got a couple Mega Man shirts from there. Um, but this... Somebody posted this on Facebook, and I didn't know where the heck they got it, so I messaged them, and they said, Hot Topic. So I went to Hot Topic the next day, and they're like, oh, no, we don't have any of these. You know, I don't even know. I didn't really know what I was talking about. You looked online, nothing in online file. So one day I was at work, and I had we were down for something, um, so I had some downtime and I was looking online and somebody posted that they were had these on the internet. So I bought one right away. Um, so I bought one right off the bat and then I texted Greg and because this is actually a vinyl record. Um, I texted Greg because I know Greg likes Mega Man and he has a record player. I don't have a record player so there's no way I'm going to be able to play this unless I go to Greg's house. Or I borrow like somebody else's, but I was gonna post this to all my other gamer friends, and I as soon as I started making the message, I got another notification on Facebook. These records sold out on Hot Topics website in less than 35 minutes. So I was crazy enough. I was good. They all, there's only like I think a thousand of these were only printed, but they're gonna re-release them in. But they're not going to have the art on here. As I, I don't know if I'm going to show you, I should just show you instead of talking about it. But like I said, 35 minutes or less, these were all gone, sold out. You know, you can't find these. There are there are some I think floating around in other stores. So if you guys are wanting one of these, go to your Hot Topic and see if they have any. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay like eBay prices, which is like 70 bucks. But I only paid goes for like 30 bucks but this is a vinyl record of Mega Man the best of Mega Man 1 through 10 and as you can see it's got art that's the actual record and it's got art on it and then on the back it's got more art and it has all the tracks on here which is kinda what's kinda sad is it has all the Mega Man games except Mega Man 3 there are no tracks on here for Mega Man 3 which is a bummer because that's my favorite Mega Man game but just crazy, you know. I saw this and immediately I wanted it. Um, so I was lucky enough to get one, and Greg was lucky enough to get one. But I, I feel bad because none of my other like friends that like Mega Man that wanted one could get one because they just sold out like just like that. I mean, it's just unbelievably crazy. So that's kind of cool, you know. Like I said, if you if you really want one of these, you're gonna either have to go on eBay and spend like fifty to seventy bucks, or you know, Hot Topic said they uh, the guy the employee told me they have a couple floating around in other stores, but I'm sure they won't last that long. So, all right, we're getting down to the end here. As I apologize, this video is like, where are we going on thirty, almost thirty five minutes here? So, <laughs> apologize for that in advance. So. More games I picked up um, from the game store I love so much because it's so awesome. This is another shooter. Go figure, another shooter. <laughs> so this game was, is an Xbox 660 game exclusive, just like the other Raiden game. Um, this, I believe, was only in the arcade as well. There's a picture of the arcade on the back here. Um, this was like 6 bucks, 
and I didn't know anything about this and I texted uh, my buddy Jason and he just kind of flipped he's like oh my god I've been looking for this game forever and he's like gonna strangle me I swear you know next time he sees me but I ended up picking it up I said he can come over and we can play it anytime you know but this is uh, on a Raiden Fighters Aces for the 360 and this actually has three three Raiden games in it on the back um, this is really fun. I've actually played this in the arcade, and it's with two players. It's freaking awesome shooter, so I'm glad to add that to the collection. All right. The next two games, these are a couple of Genesis games. I don't really collect Sega Genesis, but there are some good titles out there. Uh, I've been looking for this one for a little while. Uh, I can't believe I haven't gotten this yet, but I just found it. Um, this is like the Sega Classics version, which is no big deal to me. It's just like greatest hits almost, but this is a copy of Golden Axe, the Genesis. Nice clean copy, label and cart and manual are all there. And then this game, which is another crazy game here. This game, I've noticed on the regular Nintendo, has gone, is like super expensive, um, for instance, it's I think it's around three hundred to four hundred dollars if you want an NES copy of this. So I kind of figured I saw this on the Genesis. I'm like, this can't be you know as valuable. Well, it is pretty valuable and it's pretty you know uncommon. You rarely see this game out in the wild at all. But it goes for I think around eighty eighty five bucks, and I paid like ten bucks for it. So I'm not gonna complain. But uh. This is a complete copy of the Flintstones on the Je Sega Genesis. So it's a fun game. I've played it. You're basically Fred, and you're going around. Each your friends have lost an item, personal item, and you have to go around and look for it and go through a level, and you fight a boss at the end and get the item back. So it's a pretty fun game. You know, not as crazy rare and crazy as the NES version, which is uh, Flintstones at Dino Peak. I doubt I will ever get that game for my collection you know it's just one of those games where I've seen it and it's like three hundred dollars and there's just can't drop that kind of money on a loose Nintendo game so alright couple more things guys and then yeah like I said we're going like forty minutes now jeez okay so if you guys remember I had a copy of Bubble Bobble 2 uh, I got a couple months ago, several months ago actually. Um, I ended up trading it. I know some of you are probably like, what the heck is wrong with you? Why did you trade that game? Well, I bought the game intentionally for with the intention of trading it off. You know, I have the first game. I love the first Bubble Bobble. It was like crazy good. But the second one is just not good at all. It's not the same. It does a whole different style and everything. I played it like five times and I just, you know, I'm not going to keep it just because it's, you know, a crazy rare game. So I traded it off and I got some stuff for that I wanted for my collection. I think I made out on this deal more than this guy did, but he wanted the game really bad. So the first thing I got was Mega Man X4. And I know some of you are probably like, Mega Man X4 for the PlayStation, really? No, this is not for the PlayStation. This is X4 for the Sega Saturn. Even though I don't have a Sega Saturn, it's still a Mega Man game, and it's still going in my collection. So, the manual's a little rough. It's got some tape on it where it's kind of like falling apart, but it's all there. It's all good. And now I have this game. So, this goes for like 120 bucks, I think, just alone, which is crazy. It's crazy rare. Well, I shouldn't say rare. It's crazy uncommon. Um... The next game I got was a N64 game I've been looking for. This has actually gone up in price to around $60, $70 range. And that is Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is the collector's uh, version. It's because it's got the lenticular cover on it. Or 3D cover, as I would just call it. But I've been eyeing this one out for a while. And this guy had it, so he threw it in. And then this game, which I thought I would never get complete, because this game is well worth a uh, 150 bucks easily. 
just complete. I have a loose copy of this game, but I don't. I never thought I'd get you know the manual and the back art for it, but now I do. So now I have a loose copy of this game and a complete copy of Mega Man Legends 2. Pretty awesome. I'm so stoked to have this now. So that's awesome. And then to seal off the deal, which did seal off the deal for me, because I was just like those three games. I'm like, well, you know. There, it's well over worth. I'm like, you got anything else? And he's like, oh yeah, I'll throw this in if you want it. And then I just, you know, I just that sealed the deal right here. But these you don't ever see, and these are well over a hundred dollars easily. Um, some of them are with the package in that. This, however, is loose. It came with a charger, but I've got a black Game Boy Micro, which is pretty awesome, and it's it's in pretty nice shape. Um, there's some scratches on the screen. Excuse me, nothing crazy. Back is a little, a little rough, but nothing crazy. You know, it's still all there. Still all works. All the buttons work. It works. So, I got all that for Bubble Bobble Two. So, I think that was a pretty fair trade. All right, now the very last thing. I think we're getting, yeah. Very last thing. God, we're going on 41 minutes here. Very last thing I got this yesterday, so I didn't even wasn't even gonna put this in the video, but I might as well. So I was just browsing around my game store, just like always, and I was about get I was getting ready to leave because I well, didn't find anything. And this guy comes walking in with this thing in his arm. He's got it like cradled in his arm, and I just glance over and I'm like, is that what I think it is? And he goes and sets it on the counter, and believe it or not, I just could not believe this had made its way into a game store, because you do not see these. Um, so I saw this guy, he set it on the counter, and <laughs> one of my eyes just kind of lit up, you know. And one of the employees who knows me, he's like, you need help with something, Matt? You know, and I just like, I whispered, because I didn't want the guy to hear. I'm like, I want that, you know. And he's just kind of like laughing, and he's like, "Okay, we." He came, he came out from behind the counter. And he's like whispering to me. He's like, "Okay, we just have to test it, and check it, you know, make sure it is, you know, not that it's banged up, and then, you know, you can buy it if you want it." Um, however, he couldn't test it because he didn't have batteries that fit this thing. This thing takes four C batteries. Okay, so. So, this was not cheap by any means. This was, it was a fair price, okay, let's put it that way. Um, these, I have seen them go for more on eBay and the internet. But it was a fair price. I had store credit, so I didn't really have to pay for it, even though I did pay for it because I bought all those other games. But, without further ado, I got a tabletop Coleco uh, Galaxian Arcade. This thing is just crazy, and as you guys can see, it is like super clean. All the stickers are there. There's nothing worn off. The battery cover is intact. Um, the sticks work. The buttons work. I've played it. It works just great. I mean, it's just freaking awesome that I was there. It was like one of those things being in the right place at the right time, and I couldn't believe it when you know this came in and I got to buy it. So. That is freaking awesome. I believe there's like, I don't know how many of these there are. I think there's like five or six. If I'm not mistaken, there's like a Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., there's a Frogger one. There's a couple others. I, I'm probably leaving out, you know, some good ones. But, yeah, just super, super stoked that I've got my hands on one of these. Because these can well easily go over $100. And I didn't pay $100 for it. But, like I said, it was not cheap. So... That's awesome. So that caps off my month for July. Pretty freaking awesome month, if you must say. It's probably the most games, most stuff I've ever had in one month. I probably won't ever top it again unless I get some like crazy, crazy lot with a hundred games for like you know fifty bucks or something. But but that's it. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below. Um, I apologize it going long, you know, it's going on 45 minutes now, so thanks for sticking around. Um, as always, I will see you guys next time.